Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the UHD 630 iGPU pass through in uh, Hackintosh the new way, which is using Proxbox. So you can see right in front of you here, we've got a Proxbox Sonoma uh, virtual machine, uh, which is running Dev Beta 1. Uh, if you're unsure how to set one of them up, uh, check out my channel where I did a video on how to do it using our uh, customized templates. So basically, I'm going to just boot up the virtual machine and just check out a few things. So the click start and just give it a moment to start. Uh, head to console and then I'll um, we'll wait for this to boot. Whilst we're doing this, um, whilst we're waiting for it to boot, if you go to the link that's in my blog post in the description, you'll get an ISO like this. If you download that, save it to your downloads folder. Just wait for that to download. Um, and obviously I'm going to sign into this macOS virtual machine. Um, but it should be pretty straightforward. Um, you just need to download that ISO file, uh, which I am now. And all you want to do is uh, head to your local disk, because uh, I'm using an external user here. Uh, I'll have to show you on my main user. So we're on the local part of the disk. We go to ISO images, upload, select file, and then select that. UHD 630 ISO and click upload. That's it, once it's uploaded um, we're ready to uh, actually get it configured. So we're on the desktop here of Sonoma. So if you used our templates uh, you can see that we've got the SATA 0 and IDE 2 still attached. So we just need to move over a generic EFI. So if we double click into getting started folder drag this onto the desktop you can read the readme but obviously I'm guiding you through that today um, so obviously if you're watching this video you don't need to we just want to wait for this to copy to the desktop and then we'll just uh, get over a generic EFI just before we attach the other one uh, and get it working so the getting started folders copied so we'll be double click inside of that uh, I'll just make this full screen so you can see uh, we've got two folders, tools and EFIs. If I double click into EFIs, we're just going to double click into the native GPUs one. Um, so basically, if I double click there, inside you get an EFI folder on the on the uh, folder. Copy that to your desktop. Go back until you get to, back to the getting started folder. Double click on tools. Right click and open Open Core Configurator. In Open Code Configurator, go to Tools at the menu bar, Mount EFI. Then you want to mount the one Apple Inc. Vertio Block Media. Click on Mount Partition, enter your password, go into Finder, go to your desktop, and get ready with this EFI file. If I click Open Partition in Open Code Configurator, drag over that EFI to the EFI partition, which is currently empty. Once that's done, click on unmount partition and then uh, we're going to shut down the virtual machine not reboot it shut it down so it could stay uh, on the spinning wheel uh, for quite a while just while it unmounts this partition you can see it's unmounted so we're just going to close everything now you don't need to but I just close everything delete the A5 folder so move it to trash and then go to shut down I'm unticking that click shut down done so I'll meet you when it's shut down. So it's shut down, so we're going to escape out of VNC, go to hardware, and then remove the IDE 0, uh, sorry, the IDE 2, and the SATA 0, because we don't need them anymore. Then, if we go to add CD DVD drive, storage, um, I can't do it on here again, uh, so I'll just uh, go on to the other user. Sorry about this, guys. So, if we go to that virtual machine again, then go to hardware, add CD DVD drive, change the bus to SATA, and then that to zero. It doesn't really matter. Go to storage, select the storage, so for you it'll be local, and then select the ISO. Once you've done that, click add, and then we're ready yet again to start up the virtual machine. So, with the VM um, started up, 
all you need to do is um, so if I just quick start go to console start now uh, I won't keep you waiting on the boot process uh, but I'm just pressing enter and uh, booting it up so you can see we're on the desktop so we go into full screen you can see on the desktop we've got HSV UHD 630 if we double click into that we'll get this folder here so there's another readme file open code configurator and an EFI folder what I want you to do is copy that EFI folder to the desktop by simply dragging it um, and then right click open open code configurator make the EFI once again uh, you notice that only that is there now because we've removed the other two so if we just type in the password open partition that EFI folder is already in there I want you to just remove that send it to trash and then on the desktop I want you to just drag that EFI into that EFI partition like so once you've done just click on make partition and one thing before we reboot for the final time I want you to go to system settings general sharing and make sure that screen sharing is on so it's on now close down all the apps uh, and click shut down because we need to add a GPU uh, a iGPU in this case so I've clicked shut down let's wait for that so the VM shut down press escape hardware add uh, and then we're going to do PCI device so let me just go back to that other user so if we go to add PCI device and then select the UHD graphics 630 which is Comet Lake um, as it says there click on that tick all functions and ROM bar you can select primary GPU if you want uh, which I do have uh, I have tested that but it doesn't really make a difference um, so if we click add we're ready to boot up the virtual machine again um, do note that display outputs don't work uh, at the moment we have got someone in our discord that has got it working um, but we don't know where we has. Um, I, I've tried that and it's not worked. So uh, you'll see that it'll boot back up. Um, just like so. And basically um, we'll be greeted uh, with a black screen. Uh, which isn't obviously a good thing. But it is in this case. Because that means that our IGPU has been initialized. So you see that? That's all we're going to get. So, I won't, now we're going to need VNC, so you can download it uh, from the VNC website, pretty straightforward. And then you'll get a window like this. If you go to the Proxmox web interface, which I'll just pull up right now, if you go to that, and you can see there's an IP address there, which is 42 for me, 192.168.0.42. Yours will be different, obviously, but you just want to enter that in at the top press enter it'll ask you for a login prompt which you won't see on screen right now but once you've entered the password um, you should see a login screen which I'll show you right now so this is what you should see enter the password for that user uh, and I'll just skip this part because it takes a minute to log in so you can see we're on the desktop if we go to about this Mac it will still say that the display is uh, 3 megabytes sorry about the background noise it's uh, not very nice weather in the UK right now um, but if we go scroll down to system report go to the graphics slash displays you'll see that there'll be display and the UHD 630 but you can see that uh, we now get a Euro appearance as you call it in Windows um, but yeah, like transparency and things. And you can see that it's supported through Metal. Hopefully this worked for you. Um, obviously, if it didn't, please visit our Discord that's linked in the description below. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, these are free uh, for you to uh, access, which not a lot of YouTubers do. So if you do want to support me, uh, please visit my donations page linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.